welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Scorpio. Let's call in spirit with some time time. I heard the word journey, so I feel like some of you may have a vacation or maybe even like a work trip coming up. Let's see, we're going to start with the Bianco Nero for you today. Scorpio, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's like my favorite time of year. Super beautiful outside, but not quite as hot. So let's see, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Well, I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpio, your first card is the Seven of Swords. It's one of my least favorite. So we have the Seven of Swords, which can speak of dishonesty, trickery, somebody wearing a mask, somebody trying to steal something. And then we have Death, which is Scorpio, coming out on top of Thief. So it feels to me like somebody is being asked if they're ready to put the swords down if they're ready to transform and leverage their intellect and abilities in a more like honest way. Oh, we're gonna find out if they do or not. Let's see, what else do we have for skirt here, please? Page of Cups in the reverse. We have pentacles in reverse. Someone is unapologetic. Someone is so committed to whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish that it doesn't matter if people who were previously working with them have given up the cause or walked away from the partnership. So we have emotionally manipulative, heartless, feminine energy who is being left out in the cold for being heartless. She may have at times been able to mask who she truly was or present some kind of facade in terms of you know, actually caring about other people. But there are people who are catching on. And this feminine energy has been given multiple messages that this next chapter in her life is dependent upon her willingness to transform away from this deceptive, puppetry, manipulation, it's like, take a time out, you've been doing shit you shouldn't have been doing, you know you should have been using your judgment and you didn't, if you want this new beginning, you're going to have to be a new person. If you want to continue to learn or see justification as to why we are encouraging you to put down your swords we can. We have the Page of Swords coming out sideways. This person is being asked to stop spying. This person is being asked to stop poking the bear. To stop plotting. There's so much anger. This person could be a water sign, <clears throat> otherwise they're just 
adept at reading emotion and using it against people. Interesting. So we have A Queen of Cups in the reverse who has been left out in the cold. I believe this is romantic and friendship level. So she's she's been found out. And it looks like we have codependency. She likes to make people feel bound to her. But if you look, there's eye contact coming from the masculine. He's looking at her, but she's looking down. It's like she wants people to pay attention to her, but she doesn't offer what she claims to. I think it would be a very physical relationship, so she may try to control people with sexual energy. For some of you with food but there's an emperor who has caught on to her an emperor who is being given an opportunity for a different kind of life he's had to or he's been called upon to stand up and speak his truth <clears throat> Scorpio, we're going to continue with the Egyptian Tarot, one of my favorite decks, and one of the first ones I got, actually. I think it was maybe like number five. <laughs> so we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone has been able to escape their karma for manipulating others or putting out some pretty like hateful energy. This is, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody who is pretty intelligent, but they would use that intelligence against others. It's like they didn't want to use that intelligence to like I don't know, find success of their own. They would rather take down the success of other people around them. Yeah, they liked to betray. Late. <coughs> so they would, <coughs> excuse me, dig up information, possibly even blackmail people, but they would dig or pry, get people to talk, find out their weakness, and then use that against them. Put them in the Eight of Swords so that they wouldn't know who they could trust. Maybe they would only believe they could trust in her, right? And then she would have control of them. This emperor has stalled or perhaps even declined to make a decision concerning this Queen of Cups recently or <clears throat> in the recent past. And it's because this emperor, he didn't believe he had the strength. So we have the lovers in the reverse and strength coming out sideways. So there were days where this emperor felt like he was capable of leaving this individual in the past and then there were hiccups obstacles perhaps even this queen of cups making things difficult like oh you want to leave me cool i just stole your license where are you gonna go now that kind of bullshit this emperor realized he was going to have to be very strategic Uh, 
this feminine energy, man. So this is a uh, faker. This is coming up in a lot of my readings. So if you're watching my channel, you can try to fake it until you make it, but then you actually have to put in the work and you have to not be a hateful bitch. <laughs> like, feel free to like talk back, but we have somebody here who literally was trying to climb the ladder through sacrificing others. This is why I grabbed this deck. Not just because it's one of my favorites, but because the fool specifically, sorry, the hanged man and the fool both have different like connotations for me. The hanged man actually shows a sacrificial cow. And it's one of the lesser tapped into meanings of this card for me, but it has come up more recently in terms of the hanged man being somebody being stuck in a situation because they are self-sacrificing. They may self-sabotage or they just don't feel their needs or their happiness outweighs whatever conventional beliefs or expectations from society that are upon them right now. So somebody was literally leveraging people that they thought would be capable of being stuck in this position and then using their energy or using them for money, sexual energy, whatever it was, to try to like manifest this better life for themselves. And shit don't work like that, sweetheart. It doesn't. It may have for a little while, you may have, you know, gotten some really adorable crocs, but like, for real, this shit isn't going to fly for long. And now we've got somebody who has built up, like literally I'm looking at the seven of pentacles in the reverse as somebody who has karmic debt. Like I see red lines. Like you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. You owe us, bitch. It's time to pay. This person has pissed off a lot of people. This person has abused a lot of people. This person has tried to come off as alluring or capable or um, accomplished, able to bring things in, perhaps even a little bit magical. But the reality of it is whatever magic it was, was built off of other people's accomplishments. Thank you. And this sideways queen of wands tells me that she shape shifted between the two. So this is somebody who would um, come off, like I said, as very like magnetic in some regards, or like people would want to listen to her talk. But at the same time, this was somebody who was willing to leverage whatever she needed to in order to conjure what she needed to. So this is somebody who would have leveraged sexual energy in an inappropriate way. Literally, this person had like a tool belt of how to manipulate people and she would choose whatever fit the person that was her target. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knave of Chalices. This is the Page of Cups in the reverse again. And this is where we're, so it's coming out twice in the same column for you. Under 10 of Swords. This is somebody who would never apologize, never take accountability. This was always somebody else's fault. This was circumstantial. There was like a situational thing that happened and that's why I was a total fucking fill in the <laughs> So we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse clarifying the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody didn't want to put in the work. I want everyone else to pay for my life. So how do I use people or manipulate them so that I don't have to actually pull my own weight? Like, really? 
you are so proud and you don't have anything to be proud of? Weird. Well, she's still proud. Six of Wands. This is another six on six because we are another number on a number, right? Because we had eight and eight, and here we have six and six. The lovers is number six. And this kind of came out sideways. I feel like what we have here is somebody who thought they had won. Somebody did, like took their rounds, accepted their laurels, like posed for the camera like, look, yeah, I'm the winner, I'm the bestest. And then shit comes crashing down. Put the crown on my head and then everybody sees me for who I actually am. I knew this. We have somebody who has killed their own success. The way they went about it built a, found, a foundation that was faulty and one that people could and did start seeing as built on like the tears of others. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about a foundation that's shaky, built on heartbreak. And we have the tower, which is a building that crumbles, and the three of swords, which is heartbreak. She tried to build her life on the misery of others. The people that she manipulated and abused. You get what you put out there. So what did you think was gonna happen? For all those people out there who think that they can use like evil eye and like spells to control other people and like eradicate free will and the people that you wanna control, like who do you think you are? Cause you're not a fucking big shot. You're stupid, like I'll say it to your face. There are universal laws. This person did not think that they applied to her, and they do. And when you put that shit out, it comes back to you. And this is coming back to this person. They're being rejected, they're being outcasted, they're being gossiped about. They don't know who they can trust. Like literally everything that they have done to other people is now happening to them on a grand, like huge scale. Like this person could end up being like roasted online or like, featured in a news story for being super fun. By the way, my channel's not for kids. <laughs> All right, we have the Queen of Rings or Queen of Pentacles coming out to clarify. This is somebody who wanted to be seen as rich, stable, enviable, on top of the Wheel of Fortune. But again, they were a faker. This could also mean for some of you that we have another feminine energy in the picture who actually was working on her own shit, actually was stable and reliable and fruitful on her own. And she is bringing karma to this feminine. Read it however it resonates for you. The truth of the matter is somebody was able to point out and get others to see who this person really was. We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. There was a crossroads for a lot of individuals. They had to willfully remove the blindfold that this feminine energy had put over their eyes. It's really comforting to believe the things that you've been told or taught and believed for months or years or whatever the fuck it is. It takes courage to stand up and say, hmm, I've learned something new. That sounds more accurate than what I've been taught. I should probably change my perspective on this. Some people wanted to keep living a lie, living in the matrix. But I also get a sense that we had, yeah, three of rings, we had three of pentacles in the reverse again. Losing friends, losing opportunities. Justice isn't over yet either. We have justice in the reverse. 
she has piled up so much karmic debt that the payout on this justice, this karmic justice, could play out over like years. Like this is somebody who was skipping along, like, look at me go, I'm the world's greatest thief. <laughs> and then she's so busy bragging, like maybe she's looking into a TV camera, but she doesn't realize she skips right off of a fucking cliff and then she falls for like two years. Four of Cups, rejection. So for some of you, this is this nasty feminine energy being rejected by others. Um, others being bored by whatever the hell she likes to talk about, probably herself. For others of you, this is the person who brought the karma for this person is somebody, again, who is actually reliable, who was rejected by this community, perhaps at this feminine energy's behest, or like she was gossiping about this person, right? So we have the Ten of Wands clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. This is like kind of delicious. But what I see, this feminine energy that for some of you, or maybe even a majority of you, was able to stand up against this ruthless feminine energy, when targeted by this karmic feminine, a lot of people counted her out. A lot of people were like, oh yeah, no, you are what people said about you and you don't really have the goods, right? Like, counted her out. But we had the Ten of Wands on its side. It's like there was a boxing match with a, a pretty serious punch and everyone was like, all right, well, uh, should we go home? Should we go get some beers? Looks like it's home. Oh shit, she's back! And like, while this sneaky little wench was like taking her out and was like yeah I won what's up this other bitch gets up and just little whoosh and knocks her the fuck out you thought I was dead nah I was playing you think you're the only one with tricks you thought you won you didn't because you can't win that way in fact the loss that this feminine is going through is still going. It's like more appropriate to compare it to Caesar, where multiple people stabbed this person. There are multiple people who have seen who this person is and they're like, I'm gonna go this way. You're like, I'm done with you. Betrayal, betrayal, betrayal. So like, yeah, she thought she won. She thought she got everything that she wanted. Pride goeth before the fall. Six of cups. And then hidden energy of the four of rings in the reverse. So four of rings is four of pentacles, by the way. And if you're new to my channel, this is um, hidden energy is when it flips over but doesn't fall out. I feel like there's... Um, some desire to make you aware of somebody releasing something. So this would be, especially since it's coming out with the Six of Cups, there is a crossroads here for somebody, potentially this Queen of Pentacles or one of the other people this Queen of Cups has messed with. They are letting go of this. They are choosing to remember the good times and moving forward. So for additional hidden energy, we have Queen of Swords and Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is giving me like negatively aspected Queen of Swords. So I feel like this is the feminine energy who's like the Queen of Cups in the reverse. She's been trying to manipulate people. She's ready to like lie some more and defend whatever she's been up to. But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, people are like, bullying her. Nobody wants to be around her. There isn't even the like pretending to be your friend thing anymore. People are perhaps straight up asking this person 
why did you do this? Why did you do that? You hurt my friend. You took advantage of this person. And justice will prevail. Six of Wands under the justice in the reverse. We still have more justice coming. All right, so if this is resonating for you, give me a like or subscribe. We're gonna get just a couple more from the Zodiac fortune telling cards. Wealth inherited from an unexpected quarter. Okay. Feels like karma to me. You have or will receive unexpected pleasure. Oh, you get the monies and the happiness. I like this, Scorpio. What else for A secret of something unimportant. So somebody is possibly going to try to get you really entangled in some piece of information, make it seem more important than it is. It sounds to me like this would be... <laughs> Sorry. I have to. It sounds to me like it would be similar to like what Trump is trying to do, like, we'll put up his lawyer. You know, I've been in his office. It's never that messy. There's plenty of people that have been in and out of there that have never seen it that messy. Girl, you are just like fucking shit up more. Somebody is going to like try to like impart something to you like it's like some important piece of information that not a lot of people have and it's bullshit or not true. So you'll be able to read that, Scorpio. You are intuitive. So leverage that intuition to make sure you don't get uh, caught up in any of this bullshit. All right. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Have a wonderful rest of your day.